Trapped in the deafening echo chamber of praise for Beyonce's Lemonade, it's easy to feel unrepresented as a white male. Thank fuck then for Radiohead's A Moon-Shaped Pool. But Matt, why is it so hard? I think Tom York's taking it a bit hard these days, isn't he? Mm. He's really feeling it on this record. It's like, I know like Radiohead is a, you know, an incredibly depressing band. Mm. But never has Tom York sounded so depressed. Normally he sounds kind of like angry, a bit miffed, like, you know, he doesn't like computers, the internet. None of us do, of course. It's terrible. But in, on this record, he's, there's a divorce lingering in the air. There's a bit of an elephant in the room. I feel like the music press is like, was like trying to make a lot of like the fact that he'd broken up with his wife and I was kind of like intrinsically skeptical of it initially, but like actually he kind of like quite explicitly references it a lot at the end. Like about half the songs on the record end with him chanting something along the lines of, you know, was our love in vain or our love has grown cold or uh, had you had enough of me? Why uh, did you divorce me? Why did you divorce me, yeah, the B-side? the most explicit, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, those are all like actual lyrics from the record uh, and from different songs. Even just using the word love like is just popping up a lot. Yeah, like ACDC used the word rock. A lot of like how much you enjoy this record, perhaps to some extent, is going to be how much time you have of day for Tom York being depressed. And a lot of people think yeah. of him as like a rich white guy that no one gives a... Uh, a shit about. There's no sort of like classical Radiohead banger moments of just intense climaxes. Nah. Essentially, if Radiohead can be one thing, they're basically like an enormous commercial pop act that tries to be, tries to integrate like as much like avant-garde and experimental music yeah. as possible. Like that's what they are. They're a stadium experimental pop act. Yeah. I mean, on this record, you've got Greenwood going crazy on the string composition, which is phenomenal. Yeah, and the production is absolutely off the chain. And obviously, like, Johnny Greenwood has gone so far from, like, being just an excellent guitarist to someone who, you know, dabbles in electronics and, like, contemporary composition to someone who has now, like, exp like scored Oscar-winning films and is, it's like... A, yeah. He's not a rock star pretending to be a composer, like mm. he's a composer. And so Radiohead now have this incredible kind of like trick up their sleeve of like literally like a member of their band is like an award winning composer. Oh yeah, it's not like, you know, Terry down the street can play guitar quite well. There are parts of this record that I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm like quite happy right now. You are, you're in a good place, aren't I'm you? I'm in like an oddly good place. And you're so glowing. There are, well, there are moments where I feel like it's borderline schmaltzy. I feel like people have always kind of called Radiohead like a really melodramatic band or really over the top band and I've never really had that issue with them because I always felt that like they were still kind of more refined than a lot of those like big strings or piano bands but on this album they are doing like strings and pianos and there's kind of relentlessly consonant Yeah vibe. and I'd never felt like Radiohead had been so just like you know emotion Snow Patrol Sad <laughs> yeah, not Snow Patrol, <laughs> not quite that. I think this record compared to like any other indie rock band is still just got so much more like texture and creativity and effort and like endless ideas that, you know, in the, in the out rock, art rock world, it's a confident for Zach and half a gotchy record. <laughs> but gotcha. in the Radiohead discography, where those things I said are essentially a given, I think it is only a four Tom record because I do think they've seen greater pastures. Well, I'm just going to use the Zach and Gotchi system. Uh, I really like this record and it does reward repeat listens. It took me about ooh, fifth or sixth to really get my head around it, but for me, it's a four Zach and half a Zach, 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 Zach. album by Radiohead. A pool shaped like a moon. Moon shaped pool. Thank you.